Hello there. Today I'm gonna make a very classic fly that has uh, yeah, <laughs> caught a lot of fish on, uh, on the Danish coastline throughout the years. The inventor of this has uh, taken this fly around the world and has caught a lot of other species uh, besides uh, sea trouts on this. Um, in the original version it's called the Christmas tree and it's made in, in pearl but, uh, but I find, and a lot of other does as well, that uh, in pink this fly has um, yeah, almost magical proportions uh, properties uh, uh, and <laughs> and is able to to find sea trouts uh, f throughout uh, throughout the season. Um, this is again a fairly easy fly. We're going to use uh, three different materials. We're going to use this Müller uh, tubing, and then we're going to use some uh, some dubbing uh, in pink, and then we're going to use some marabou. First of all, uh, this is not the original pattern. I have uh, uh, the original pattern in pink is is called uh, the flame, uh, uh, but uh, but I have added a, a a little extra touch to this, so I'm calling this uh, the flame turbocharged. Uh, and the extra effect I'm, I, I have added to this pattern is is actually just uh, a bit of marabou. So I, I won't say that I wouldn't say that I've. I've done a lot of ingenuity, but but I have added a, at least a little a little something extra to this. First, I'm gonna take a, a small bundle of marabou feathers, and I'm gonna tie them in as part of the tail. So they're just going right there. Cutting this off, as you can see, I have uh, I have already applied some uh, some uh, some lead thread to this fly. Uh, this is again to give it a, a bit more weight. So it will be uh, it will be uh, easier to fish this fly uh, at at a high pace, which, as I've said before, is something I am very fond of. Uh, speed is of the essence. I I can't state that enough. It looks like you've got some marabou there. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna take a bit more marabou than what I had applied first, like that. Just give it uh, some. Uh, some thread. This is going to be hidden by the Müller tubing, so it doesn't matter if it sticks a bit out, like that. And then this is uh, this is too long, so I'm going to take and then I'm going to rip it off, not cut it off, because if I cut it off, I will get uh, all the feathers to be of the exact same length, which is something I do not intend. Uh, that will give a very dull fly in the washer because all the all the uh, all the different fibers, all the different strands will, will just uh, uh, glue together like that. So you have a, a small, not very long tail, um, and that's basically the first part of the fly. Then I'm going to make myself a body, and here you can use a dubbing of, of any type. It doesn't uh, necessarily has to be any color or anything because it's going to be hidden underneath the or inside the, the Müller tubing. So this is just something I have a lot of. That's why I'm using this dubbing in, in pink. Uh, but you can use you know, almost every fly tie will have some sort of dubbing they bought by mistake one time and, or another that is just lying about, uh, around idly. Just use that like this. So this is just to make sure that the tubing when I apply it will be, uh, will be uh, satisfactorily uh, filled. If you're fishing with uh, a spinning rod, this is actually one of uh, one of the best patterns also to uh, to fish uh, uh, on the spinning rod, either behind a bombarda uh, floater or or uh, or uh, just a meter in front of uh, of your um, of your lure. I don't know the English word for for that, but um, yeah, like that. Then I made a whip finish and cut off the thread, and I'm gonna put the thread on down here again, like that. Cut the stump off. Then I'm taking my my Müller tubing. I'm gonna remove this inner white stuff, and that's just crap. You can't use this for anything, so just throw that away. And then I'll take my Müller tubing and just, just. Um, it's it's braided in in 
into one another down here and that is kind of what makes up this Müller tube so I'm just taking and then unwinding a small amount of this and just putting the tube over the fly like that and this is gonna it needs to be roughly the same length as uh, as the marabou tail and then I'm gonna tie this down tighten like that so you have the marabou now mixed with uh, the different strands uh, that that can that was uh, that was braided together to form the tube and that is your tail of the fly like that then I'm gonna make a whip finish this is also one of the fly patterns I have caught numerous sea trouts on um, for, a, for a period uh, way back this was uh, actually uh, almost the only fly I, I bothered uh, fishing for sea trout with because it was just so so efficient so easy to make and just uh, in every way uh, a nice fly like that then you take your thread and you do exactly the same in the other end of the fly you tie down the tubing Right there, where the t where the, the the eye is, like that, and then you get this kind of like a a caramel or or a piece of candy effect. You have <laughs> this one end that looks like yeah, yeah you, you get the drift, like that, and then I take another bundle of marabou feathers. And I tie these in so they are like a wing and they have exact almost and they reaches down to, to where the the tail is like that. Fasten them. Cut off all the leftover materials. And here you need to to cut as far down as you can because otherwise you won't get a very good looking fly so I'm carefully cutting as close to the thread as I possibly can like that then this tube is a bit too long so I'm gonna cut it around there I think and then I take this this braided tube and I unwind it all the way all the way like that turn this around but turn it around so that every fiber is where it approximately would be so it's 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 kind of give it's it, it has to give the same effect as a hackle it has to be uh, surrounding it has to surround the uh, the fly uh, evenly distributed like that gonna tie this down and uh, one of the problems with using the marabou is that you get a fly that is a bit look looks a bit clever and by clever I mean it has a bit of a large head but that's that's one of the price for making that's that's just the small price to pay for making this fly even more efficient like that and then you're actually ready to go you make a wood finish Fasten it, and you can of course apply some uh, some varnish to this as well. That is a very good idea uh, to apply varnish at the head, but also at the, the lower part of uh, of uh, of this fly where we tied down the the tail. Because if you do that, this fly will last to uh, uh, a larger amount of of, uh, of sea trunks. Uh, the only problem with this fly is that uh, over time. Uh, the sea trout's teeth will pick at this uh, braided uh, braided mular tubing, and uh, and will eventually pick it apart. But but uh, but that will take um, 
a few a few bytes before you before you get to that. So like that, the flame turbocharged.